So now that the Lakers have formally been sent to the deepest realm of Cancun, Mexico, I thought it would be an interesting topic for us to address today. The fact that after game one of the Nuggets versus the Lakers, everybody was only talking about how much the Lakers have figured out the Nuggets and how they're going to make this miraculous adjustment that will eventually lead to them winning the series. I didn't fully buy into this, even though I understood that the concept was, of course, to take Anthony Davis off of Nikola Jokic as a primary defender in order for him to be able to provide help against Jokic as an offensive threat. In theory, this sounds cool, but as we learned throughout the playoffs, there's no answer for Nikola Jokic. There's no answer for the Nuggets. To me, it seems like they've unlocked the secret code of basketball. They've figured out how to be dominant in the paint, to be dominant at the three, to be dominant on the drive, the pick and roll, defense, they are good at everything. So I came across this video that spoke specifically about this topic and I wanted to see what was their take on the Lakers game plan that for the record did not work. But guys, y'all seem to really enjoy the video yesterday and I greatly, greatly appreciate y'all as always. You know, I always try to show my love in the comments as much as I can responding to y'all and engaging with y'all. That truly is one of the best things for me being able to speak with y'all directly and everything. I love that. So y'all can definitely expect some videos similar to this one. And be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel so I know if y'all actually rocking with the video or if I need to change something. Y'all let me know in the comments, especially if y'all rocking with it or not. So without further ado, let's lock in. Let's get to the video. Wow. What an opener to the Western Conference Finals in Denver, where Nikola Jokic played just about the best three quarters of offense I've ever seen, only for the Lakers to completely change up how they defended him in the fourth, which sparked a furious late game rally. Jokic was coming off one of the best playoff series we've seen in a long time offensively, while Anthony Davis, his counterpart in the middle, has authored an incredibly dominant playoff run protecting the rim. Mm -hmm. And yes, Davis started this game on Jokic. The Lakers actually doubled right away without yeah. any harm, although Jamal Murray was able to attack and just missed Bro. the money at the basket. Okay, so first of all, the video is by Thinking Basketball. I'll put their YouTube down in the comments for y'all to be able to go to the original video and show them love however y'all choose. Um, y'all can let them know that I sent y'all if y'all feel, you know, if y'all want to. But definitely this game was a big eye opener for us, of course. This was when Jokic through the first three quarters was just destroying us. But also I have been on record saying that, you know, the talk around Jamal Murray, which I was completely wrong about, is that, you know, he's inconsistent, he's this, he's that. And I was really riding that wave heavily, just hoping that that's what he would actually be because I didn't think that without him, they'll be able to beat us. But he was almost perfect for the four games of the series. So as he's mentioning right now, when they were putting pressure on Yoke, of course, they're now giving Jamal Murray free reign to make things happen. And he delivered. Yeah. But... Jokic had a ton of success going against Davis one on one. Yeah. Here, Davis he was is focused on taking away this cutter pass. So Jokic just drives it right by him and finishes at the hoop. On this one, Davis is tracking the defensive rebound. Aaron Gordon keeps it alive. And that means no one is out on Jokic at the perimeter. And he walks into a warm up shot. And that's Man. the tricky part about defending Jokic. You have to yeah, work. Yeah, he can passing, do everything his outside shooting, his <laughs> movement. And then when he catches it on the block, he can go to work and spins off for the dunk. Man. And one thing people don't mention about Jokic is his strength. You have to imagine, and I always say this, and, and a lot of the Nuggets fans get mad at me, but bro, he's not athletic at all. Yeah, he's athletic in different ways, but when it comes to vertical athleticism, um, um, lateral uh, athleticism, no. But what makes him very good is his body control and also his strength. Like, the things that he can do with his body when he's in the paint, like, he's not somebody you can box out. If you play basketball, you know. There's always those big guys you could try to push on them or try to box them out. He's not going to move. It doesn't matter who you are. Your best bet against him is probably Steven Adams. And they'll just be in there brick wall against brick wall. 
That's one thing Later people on underestimate third, with him. Two-man game with Murray and Jokic. They bring yeah, a the pick and roll, over to feet help. in the paint, Davis middle of the paint. Well to the ball, Always right there. Yeah. Wedding, finally spins around and hits him with the old Sambor shuffle. And he has mastered that shot. This is all the more impressive when you remember that Davis is having one of the most dominant defensive playoffs of the decade. Where yeah. opponents are shooting 19% worse around the basket than expected wow. according to second spectrum. And AD is agile enough to stay with a Jokic drive here and mm -hmm. almost blocks that little flip shot on a good possession. Nice. A few minutes later, they get a deep post wow. catch for Jokic. And this time, Davis. Yeah, that's that's that's, that's it right there. So Davis is lucky, in my opinion, right there. But like I said in the Sun series, you cannot let Nikola Jokic get two feet in the paint. That they they had DeAndre Aiden guarding him. DeAndre Aiden is not even trying to three-quarter get around him to disrupt the pass from coming in. If you let arguably the best player in the league at that time get two feet in the restricted area, what you expect to happen? And right there, of course, because of his defense, Anthony Davis got lucky, but you letting him catch the ball way too low. That's over. But the matchup presented all kinds of issues for AD and the Lakers. First of all, in transition, Jokic can grab and go like and a point go. guard mm -hmm. and beat Davis down the court, so he's not there to protect the rim, and it's a beautiful pass for a layup. And Davis Aaron Gordon is a Jokic sleeper, one -on -one man. On this one, he actually blocks him under the basket to return without the favor, getting off the floor. That leaves a deep. My catch up over a piece so of when paper. Jokic pushes it ahead. The Nuggets Sorry, don't have to worry about a shot blocker. Pass Aaron Gordon. Throws it away pass. or would have been another oh. layup. Oh. This Three one on is one, you turn right over. Sequence where Jokic grabs the board and go. Davis is already back in the paint, mm -hmm. but he needs to go help on Michael Porter Jr. in the corner, uh, and that means Jokic can wedge himself under the basket yep. against smaller Lakers for rebounding. Now watch Jokic grabs his tenth board you, in the quarter. Strong as hell. I'm trying to back. tell you. I'm and telling so you. Another element here is that when Davis has to leave Jokic to help. Uh, he Jamal. can't put a body yep. on him to rebound. That's one of Jokic's six offensive rebounds of the first half. Keeping the ball high and, and going straight up. connected to Jokic is a real issue. Davis wants to come off him and protect the paint against cuts like this from Michael Porter Jr. Just a but that great job Jokic by the Nuggets, though. Yeah. curl off yeah. the screen like this and walk into an open jumper. I, re it <laughs> it's so funny. I remember reacting to this, and I was like, how will y'all let it Dakota Jokic come off of a screen, a down pin? What? Just great coaching by the Nuggets for that play. High key. In order for, um, what's this guy? The MPJ to get that face cut to possibly get the ball. He could have possibly got the ball in the paint right there, but he didn't. And it allowed just enough space for Anthony Davis to be late on the, on the pin down end. Many ways, Bucket. the last thing the Lakers want is AD chasing Jokic around screens outside of the paint. Yeah, that's not Here what you want. Yeah, once again, Jokic just, just enough space. Three because he doesn't miss. Yeah. This right. one's even more ridiculous. Coming down in transition, Davis is watching Jokic out of the corner of his eye. Jamal Murray sets a little Set a screen. screen. Just enough. Davis isn't even not a sure crazy whether screen. to go under or over. And Jokic just catches it and goes and Again, finishes with a one-legged righty floater yep. off the glass. I wasn't exaggerating when I said he played maybe the most exquisite three quarters of offensive basketball maybe you could possibly play. Pouring in 31 points, dishing out And KCP assists, was just killing us. Three shots. Well, the Nuggets posted a one Nah, this one I almost broke my laptop. With him on the floor. And in the Sun series, me? we recently talked about how this screen and cut into mm -hmm. a post up causes all kinds of yeah, problems for defense. That's, that's really nice. And it's more of this same issue with Davis chasing Jokic away from the ball. This could be a Spain pick and roll. It could be a back screen. Because you can't Jokic, switch it. And the Nuggets actually turn it into a Murray Jokic ball screen mm. that leads to a wide open three. And the reason it's wide open is because instead of stepping up to the ball to guard Murray, Davis, Davis is, worried is worried about, about him rolling. Yeah. Off the screen in wow. The other direction. Okay. It's a miscommunication with D'Angelo Russell and an open shot. Yeah. Yeah. A couple minutes later, we see that cut. KCP sets the screen at the foul line. Jokic wheels off and catches it in the post. And now he puts Davis in the meat grinder, yep. pulverizing yep. him into powder yep. right under the basket for an easy little fade. The next time down, it's the same the cut. 
Jokic gets the catch in the same spot, and boop, it's a backdoor Man. for an open That's layup. That's just bad defense by again, DeAndre Russell, Jokic but throws this it's called pass. awareness. KCP He's watching him. open, nor has he started to really move. He just knows. They just know each other so, so well, well yeah. he cuts into the space and yeah. it's a layup. So the very next play, they run the exact, exact same, same thing. action. <laughs> Davis has seen it enough that he knows what's coming. So instead of cutting, Jokic flares out to the three-point line instead. That leaves Davis way behind the play. Austin Reeves has to come over and help. It's an easy pitch and catch this to Michael beautiful. Porter, who cans a triple. And the thing is, when Jokic starts moving around like this mm -hmm. and making threes and jumpers from all over the place, Davis doesn't want to leave him on these handoff actions with Murray. So this collapses the entire defense. He gets a kick out to KCP. And the Nuggets Jeez. shot quality was like a warm-up. It point. was. Yo, so first of all, shout out to Thinking Basketball for just great, just this great breakdown. Um, really loving this video so far. But if you watch the games, driving and kicking, this is what the Nuggets do. They get two feet in the paint. They don't always look to score with two feet in the paint. They're looking to get a pass out. They're looking for another action. But they, it seems like they're always hunting that perfect shot. Kind of like with the Warriors in a way. You know, the Warriors will run Steph Curry around the court. The whole possession, if they have to, just looking for that one small opening to get that perfect shot or what they deem as a perfect shot. For the Nuggets, it just seems like they always had wide open shots, two feet set, one foot, two feet in the paint, pass out to, to a three-pointer. Jokic um, waiting on a backdoor cut. If he don't get it, he's scoring. It's just beautiful basketball. Here's a more subtle example late in the quarter where Jared Vanderbilt is pressed up a little too tightly on Bruce Yeah, Brown. he shouldn't he be that high up. And takes it down the lane for a dunk. Mm. And the reason Davis Lord. doesn't help is he's busy thinking about Jokic's corner screening Can he step up? by the time he turns That's around. That's a pass to Jokic. Late. Yeah. These Jokic cuts Law. can be so challenging that they create a little off-ball gravity. Here, slicing across the lane into open space, LeBron James sees it, so he sinks way down to help. And with two on Jokic, someone's open on the Somebody's outside, open. and it's more KCP shooting. And this gravitational pull <sighs> that takes Davis out of the paint is even relevant when Jokic has the ball, because when he passes to these cutters, Davis isn't there hey. to block it. And this even shows up on something subtle like a shot contest where Jokic is in the post, goes to a spin move, and because Davis is contesting the jumper, when he passes it to KCP, Davis can't come from Nobody's the side doing that the pass. Deck. Instead, what the Lakers are looking for is Davis's constant presence around the basket, altering shots like we saw during the last two series. And this play in the first quarter actually created the blueprint. Davis was on Michael Porter Jr. because of a cross match. They clear out the side for Aaron Gordon, mm -hmm. but now, now LeBron AD is can there. roam under the yeah. and play goalkeeper, and he's there to completely inhale the shot, even though it was a mismatch. And that gets us to the key change in this game that almost swung it for the Lakers. In an 11-point game in the fourth, Rui Hachimura guarded Jokic with Davis roaming off of Jeff Green. And right away in the first possession, the Nuggets offense was a little discombobulated. You see Jokic try a pass and cut, but Green misses it back to him as Davis closes out. And it's a foul under the basket that probably saves a layup. But the mm. Lakers were really on to something here because Rui is at least strong enough to push Jokic off the block on his catch. And the Nuggets were a bit thrown off offensively down the stretch because of this. This is essentially the same tactic we saw the Celtics go yeah. to in the last video against the 76ers. Give me that. And incidentally, it's the exact same tactic that Philadelphia used against Denver in their regular season matchup earlier this year that again threw the Nuggets off mm. having Joel Embiid roam away from the basket. And on a play like this, you can see the power of it where Jokic spins into the paint and his pass to Aaron Gordon is a lot harder over yeah, Davis over AD. who deflects it yeah. and triggers a late yeah. pass break. Wow. LeBron gets all the way downhill into the paint and it's free throws and the comeback is on. Now, I think there are ways for the Nuggets to counter this, but the one thing it does for the Lakers is it puts Davis in position to be a wrecking ball roaming around under the basket so he can defend cutters or these passing actions on nice. the interior. 
they go to essentially the exact same configuration on this play. Jokic backs him down. Davis comes over. He turns to pass. LeBron helps on the inside. Contavious Caldwell Pope hits a huge yeah. runner that keeps the Lakers at bay. So that's the thing, too. It's a little bit risky. Because, of course, Anthony Davis is like right on the edge of getting a defensive three seconds. As you all know, in, in the NBA, that's illegal. But here in Europe, um, that's not illegal. So something like this would easily be able to happen because you would be able to have Anthony Davis just standing in the middle of the paint. Like, that's it. So um, definitely on the edge, but what's the, what's the risk? You give up the, the technical free throws, I guess. That will probably happen one time in the game. Because if you ask me, he, was probably, he probably had a three seconds um, for, <laughs> I already saw a couple of times. And in the final possession of the game, the tactic almost works perfectly. Jokic springs by Hachimura, but then Davis can help at the basket. He almost blocks the shot, but gets a little Got too a much of the wrist and arm yeah, five, in man. the process. And those free throws secure the victory for Denver after an incredible fourth quarter yeah, comeback a that just a little, fell. A little, short. little, little ticky tack, but it's a foul. Won, the Nuggets have another adjustment to consider on the other side of the ball because the Lakers successfully attacked they killed Jamal Ooh. in pick and roll over and over again, creating a mismatch with the much larger LeBron James. LeBron, hey, this. LeBron was throwing that elbow too, though. In all fairness, like you back someone down, you try to make that play and you raise your elbows like this. If you keep it close to your body and wrap somebody like this, a lot different than going like this. You could clearly see the difference. But he did that a couple of possessions, and I was like on edge thinking that they were going to call that. Off switch. Throughout the night, this got the Lakers great shots and helped them come back in this game. Either way, this was an incredible opening game. It was. Both teams shot nearly 50% from downtown. And if the rest of this series is anything like this game, it's going to be an all-time well, it wasn't. We'll have more on this series in the next episode of the Thinking Basketball podcast. Shout out to Thinking Basketball. First time doing one of their videos and definitely won't be the last. I, I truly enjoyed that. I, I'm a student of the game. Like, um, I, I like learning. I like getting different perspectives. And one thing I always said, if I was to do a podcast, I would have to be with somebody that's like a basketball historian, a basketball like mind, you know? I'm a player, of course, I see things from a player's perspective, but one thing that I definitely want to improve on is just my overall IQ of the game and being able to see the game in different ways and pick it apart as a player, you know, that's very important. And I started playing basketball when I was 18, for real, so um, I'm a little bit late in the game, but of course I found success um, using my mind and everything, but definitely always learning, and these type of videos is things that stimulate your mind and make you really see the game in a way that you probably wouldn't. And I, I really, really like, like his, like his stuff for sure. And I'll definitely be checking it out again. But my thoughts on the video so far, was just, yeah, I mean, number one, it will not be a classic because we got swept, <laughs> but I think it'll be a classic for the Nuggets because we were able to truly see the potential of, of Nikola Jokic and to see that he's still improving as a player. And to see that in the playoffs, he's the same player and better. No game plan was able to stop him. Nothing was able to deter him. When you take away his passing, he scored 50. When you take away his scoring, he had 20 assists. You can't take away his rebounds because, like I said, you can't do anything to get him out of the paint. I just think he's an unstoppable force. And I really think no matter who comes out of the East, they don't have a chance against Nuggets. They're playing a brand of basketball that I deem the best to watch right now. And it's going to be exciting when the, when the finals comes. And I'll definitely be locked in and doing my reactions then again too. So y'all let me know your thoughts about this one. Let me know um, your thoughts on me doing these type of videos again in the future. And if y'all liking them, if y'all rocking with them, thank y'all so much for the subscribers that we received yesterday. Welcome to the family. And we on the road to 5,000 subscribers, guys. Let's get that done, okay? Let's do that. Do that for your boy. Let's go. All right, like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn the notification bells till the next video. I love you all to death. Peace.